Okay guys, welcome to another uh, Mainmeister look at. Now today, I'm actually looking at something that very unfortunately does not actually belong to me, um, although I do actually have one on order. Um, you might actually be familiar with it once I let you see it. It is this. Yep, it's a Spectrum. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, I've seen loads of these, um, what's so special about this one? Well this guys is actually, I don't know what the official title of this thing is, um, I'm going to call it the Ultimate Spectrum. Why is it Ultimate, um, might you ask? Now this is not any normal Spectrum. This, um, it's a normal Spectrum case which you can see and it's got the normal keyboard. Inside it is not a normal Spectrum, it is actually um, a brand new built Spectrum device. Now, it doesn't emulate, it actually plays, I mean, somebody has actually, you know, built a Spectrum from the ground up. It's a Spectrum 128, um, and it's obviously inside this shell. Now, what makes it quite special is, you'll see in a second, on the back, you have got, you've got the power now, is that in focus? I don't think it is. Doesn't matter. Anyway, on the back here, you've got your normal Spectrum uh, power input. You've got the normal, I don't know what you call it, cartridge slot, tape slot, whatever it is, I have no idea what it is. Now, this this one actually belongs to my mate George, uh, he's kindly given me a wee loan of it, um, but it's now cost me money because I've now ordered one. On the back, uh, George has put a little switch, now, does that sw I think that switches between 128 mode and 48k mode, but we'll soon find out in a minute once we actually put it through its paces. On the back here, there's a reset switch, so you basically load a game, when you want to play a new game, you simply press the button. Now, what makes this quite unique is, inside here, is a USB, not a USB, a SD card. Now, all the games, etc, that's not focusing, why is it not focusing? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you've got an SD card, so that is obviously preloaded with hundreds and hundreds and, and probably thousands of games. Every single Spectrum game you can ever think of. You've got your microphone, um, where you actually plug... I always think it's odd, uh, It's always slightly strange. The microphone, you would see, is inputting, whereas in the Spectrum it's actually outputting. So for your sound, you've got your microphone, you've got your ear, you've got your... is it your VGA? So this can actually output to a monitor and you've also got your S video which uh, connects to the SCART side of things on a TV. Um, oh sorry, I'm talking bollocks, I'm talking absolute shit. That is not a VG, that is a Kempston inter a interface. So this thing here, you know, it's it comes with all the software, well it doesn't come with it obviously, but when you've got this thing put together, it's got all the games in it, they're all in an SD card, it's instant loading, it's got a, a built-in Kempston joystick, you know, absolutely fantastic. Now for sound, what you can do is you need to have an, obviously an external sound input or output. Let's stretch across, so I'm going to use one of these little, uh, I don't know what this thing's called actually, it's basically a wee mini speaker. So anyway, let's cut to the important bit and see some of the games actually working. Right, okay, this is uh, the bad boys all plugged up and ready to roll. So you can see here, I've got the, uh, this is the S video out which obviously connects to the, the SCART. This is my joystick, Kempson, it's a sort of pre-configured as a Kempson joystick. Um, plugged into the microphone, I've got this little speaker thing, and uh, I've actually kind of pinched my power pack thing that goes in here. So yeah, we're all ready to go. So I'm going to put this back up on the tripod and have a look at some games. Right, okay, let me just adjust this so we can see what all the fuss is about now. I hope this is coming across on the camera. What you've got here, I'm going to say that you try and move my legs without knocking the camera over. Yep. What you'll hopefully see is one razor sharp picture. It's absolutely faultless looking. Um, it really is. Now, to uh, bring up the menu, you press the red button. And there you go. You've got all these different, well, it's not options as such. That's you basically looking at the uh, SD card contents. So you use, yep, you use six or seven to move down. 
Uh, let's have a wee look. Let's go to A to Z and then you press enter. There we go. Let's look at Manic Miner, I think. One of my favourite games. Okay, now we're into M, so let's scroll down to, I think if you keep, yeah, if you keep your finger on the fire button, not the fire button, on the, the button, it does move a lot quicker. Now, I'm not exactly sure what uh, files this uses, you can see there there's tape files, or tap files, there's snapshots, which are SNA, and there's also Z80 files. So let's go down to Manic, Enter. There we go, now I'll turn the sound on. If I can find the one button. <laughs> As you can tell, it's kind of loud. But I'll, uh, I'll turn that down a wee bit. Right, let's go. And it just looks absolutely faultless. Now as I said guys, this is not a Raspberry Pi or anything like that at all. This is not an emulator. This is actually a Spectrum. But it's just been made recently. Um, and it says it's got the... Uh, it's a 128 and 48k. I don't believe I did that. So I would probably say it is, if Kestrel or Carlsberg made a ZX Spectrum, this would probably be the Spectrum that they would make. You know, it's it's got the proper keyboard, it's playing games on proper hardware, but the ease of use is just fantastic. You know, to load a game takes a second. Um, having the joystick built in as well is just awesome. Um, when George came up with this, what night was it? Thursday night I think it was, um, within about five minutes he's seen this, I knew that that's what I was wanting to get. Now some, some uh, aficionados of Spectrum might yell and say well that's not a real Spectrum. Oh yeah, you could argue the toss and say yeah you're absolutely right, it is not the real original Spectrum, but you know what, it's, it is a Spectrum, it's the proper hardware. Um, it's not emulating games, and it's just about, well it's not just about, it is the easiest way to actually enjoy Spectrum games. And obviously being brand new, it's a new machine, um, you know, it's gonna, it's probably gonna last a whole lot longer. So anyway, let's take a look at another game, so to pick another game, you just press the B button, like so. Now one thing I forgot to mention, the board, when you buy the board, I think the board is £89, <coughs> excuse me, um, which when you think about it, you know, isn't bad, I mean a, a, a Spectrum 128 Toast Rack is going for about 100, over £100 now, so you know, you're getting a, a Spectrum 128 for that. You buy, you, you buy the actual basic, uh, no motherboard, PCB, whatever it's called, the insides of the thing, you get that. What you don't get is a ULA chip. Now apparently these are quite hard to come by. There's no company actually makes them anymore. So you need to get yourself a ULA chip. Now George actually picked up a Spectrum Plus 2 for £7 at a car boot sale a few weeks ago, not a few weeks ago, a few months ago, uh, for seven quid. So we took the ULA chip out of it and popped it in this thing. So you need, you get, you buy the board for £89 or £85, whatever it is. Um, you need to provide your own case obviously it's got the keyboard and the keyboard, the original Spectrum keyboard, it just slots in into the, into the hardware so you need to provide your own case and ULA chip um, and once you've done that you've got this bad boy so let's take another look at a few more games um, let's, what can we play um, let's take a look at Chase HQ in fact you know what I'm going to do, well no, we'll, we'll look at Chase HQ first but you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch this off and I'm going to flick the switch which should, now I've not tried this yet, I hope I don't break it George should
put it into one to eight mode. If I can get the power back in, there we go. Yeah, there we are. One to eight mode. Uh, you know what? I'm not really. How do we? I'm not really a. Although I've got spectrums, let's say, switch it on and off again. So plug it back in. Did I go down to basic? I think I probably do. Is it enter? Oh, fuck it off. How do we get back? Right, how do we get down to. Is it space? How do we get down to 48k basic? There's probably loads of you shouting at me as we speak, telling me how to do this. And we don't use the joystick. Right, I'm not quite sure how, how that moves actually. Right, okay, I think what I'm going to do is go back to the... Uh, go back to the 48k mode but I'm reliably informed that this is a 1 to 8 you can see there it's got the, the 1 to 8 screen I just I'm just a bit too thick to actually know how you move uh, how you move through the options so yeah let's unplug it and we'll flick the switch back again to that and we should get F48k1 coming up again there we go that's it detecting the device and then we just press the B button like so oh let's have a wee look let's go down to, let's have a look at ultimate and now some of these games uh, I was going to say weren't compatible with the 1 to 8 but we're running in 48 key mode so right so let's go for number 4 and start game there we go <laughs> Is that the quickest ever loss of life in a spectrum? I'm guessing it probably is. I tell you, for an old game, this is still an absolute classic. It just plays so well. Yep. Apparently that's a bit of a way to cheat to build a high score is just to sit up there and blast to the side. Like so. One more I think. And away we go. Yeah, that's jetpack. Fantastic as usual. Um, let's take a look at one last game, guys. So to come back out the menu, you just go up to the top, see these wee sort of double dots, and press enter. Um, now there's also new games in here. Um, I can't remember what ones I've played recently. Let's have a look at one of them. Let's look at cracking. Or is it crackling? Cracking. No idea what this is. The National Museum. All right. Okay. Two. Never played this before. All right. Okay. It's a knockoff dizzy. The mini bus. <laughs> it's dizzy meets manic minor. In fact, if you've been. There's a backwards walking bolt. Looks like a hunchback or something. And a toilet. Is it space bar to pick up? Enter. No. That's a quite a nice video in this. Yeah, 
souvenir mugs a pound each no thank you anyway listen guys that is it um, what can I say about this thing absolutely fantastic to buy one it's about 85 pounds um, you need to get yourself a ULA chip he does the guy does supply them with the ULA chip but I think it's an extra 30 quid um, so you're probably better trying to find uh, find one trying to get a second hand uh, Spectrum I think it's going to be the Spectrum Plus 2 I'm not exactly sure I'll find out for George um, and then you obviously need the case as well but as far as I can see it is the ultimate Spectrum I mean I'm going to get myself one um, I've got tons of Spectrums um, including the Toast Rack one as well which I'm going to hang on to but for ease of use and playing games, playing games on original hardware, you know, without using an emulator, this is the way to go. It really is the ultimate spectrum as far as I'm concerned. So that's it, guys. Um, if you want any, so any more information on this thing, please just pop it in the comments below and I shall do my best to answer them. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching.